So in order to install any types of modifications like a custom recovery, gaining root access, or a custom ROM, you're going to need to unlock the bootloader. Now I've done a guide on this in the past, so if you need to do that, go ahead and check the previous tutorial. But sometimes there's points where you were done experimenting with the custom ROMs and the custom kernels, the custom recoveries, and you just want to go back to stock everything. And since certain applications like and uh, Android Pay do not work when you have a unlocked bootloader, you will definitely need to relock the bootloader on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL if you want to restore that type of functionality. So today I'm going to show you how to relock the bootloader on both the Pixel 2 as well as the Pixel 2 XL. And just like on how you locked it, you're going to need to have stuff set up on your computer, including TW, including ADB and Fastboot tools. And then you're going to need to have stuff like developer options enabled so that you can uncheck that OEM unlock option once you're done here. So once you're ready, we're just going to go ahead and power off the device. Once the device is off, we're going to boot up into fast boot mode. If you're unfamiliar with how to do any of this, be sure to check the full tutorial as I include step-by-step -step instructions for all of this. And then once you're in fast boot mode, we're going to switch our attention to the command prompt and plug in the USB cable from the PC to the Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. Once you have opened up a command prompt, be sure that you have it right in the same directory as your ADB and Fastboot tools are located in. And like before, we're going to type out the command fastboot space flashing space lock. Now before this was fastboot flashing unlock, so to lock it back down, we're going to do fastboot space flashing space lock and then press enter on the keyboard. And just like before, that's going to give us this prompt. So we just need to press the volume up and volume down buttons to control which option we want to highlight and we want to lock the bootloader. So then we can just press the power button to select that option. We're going to see the phone reboot. And just like before, it's going to do a factory reset. And then it's going to reboot again. Now this first boot cycle will take longer than normal. Again, that's because we just did a factory reset, which is required. It is a safety mechanism that Google has implemented into Android. And while this boots up, I do want to recommend that you only lock the bootloader whenever you have everything stock. Now if you have TWRP installed, if you have root or even a custom recovery, do not lock the bootloader. I really only recommend that you lock the bootloader unless you 100% know that everything is stock 
or you have just flashed, manually flashed the factory images from Google. I also wanted to point out that if you have the Pixel 2 XL to unlock the bootloader, you sometimes need to do two different commands. One is the fast boot flashing lock, and the other is the fast boot flashing lock underscore critical. And once we type that out again in the ADB command prompt, we're going to be given this message here. We just want to press the volume up button to select the lock the bootloader option. Press the power button to select it. And then we're going to see the phone reboot, do the factory reset, and reboot again, which is going to take us again back to the Android activation screen after a few minutes of Android setting everything back up. The second command may or may not be required on your Google Pixel 2 XL. It will just depend on if you unlocked the critical, if you did the unlock critical command initially, which again, Google says may be required in order to flash the factory images. So again, that's just something that you should be aware of. And then if you want to go fully locked, you're going to need to enter those two commands on the Pixel 2 XL. The regular Pixel 2 does not have the lock and unlock critical commands. It's only the Pixel 2 XL from LG. So that is how to lock the bootloader of both the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL.